officials as well as foreign representatives. Uh, but given the time that we are in, it's being transmitted virtually uh, to all of you at home and across the world so that you can uh, be a part of this occasion. The activities have been uh, whittled down to invites only and uh, special representatives as well as officials. That's correct. Uh, starting off in 2020, as you're all aware, uh, this pandemic has placed us in most unusual uh, positions and so we've, got to, we've had to adopt a lot of things to suit the times. And of course, this is one such occasion where we've had to adjust in order to be able to ensure that we're all safe, uh, mm -hmm. but at the same time to be able to pay our highest respects to our first government general, yes. Dr. Demonita Gordon. That's right. And you know, it is also an opportunity for us to learn more about her life and the contribution that she's made to this country. Um, one of the things I think people have now become aware of is how accomplished she was even before her appointment as our first governor general in 1981. Um, she was, in fact, Belize's first trained psychologist. Uh, she had an extensive career in education, and we'll be talking a bit about that as we uh, jo as you join us over the next few days. And a great deal has been made, uh, Marlene, about her uh, being the first female Governor General in the Commonwealth. I don't think that we ought to allow that the significance of that to pass us by. Um, and I think it speaks very well about the right Honorable George Price and his government at the time, mm -hmm. who in going to independence, a young nation, a nation going to independence under the threat of invasion by our neighbor in furtherance of their claim, was bold enough, was mm -hmm. progressive enough to still name a woman as the head of state, as our first governor general. An absolutely progressive move uh, when you look at uh, gender relations since then. Mm -hmm. Regrettably, I don't think we have made, we have kept strides with that progressive start um, to our, our independence. Uh, but we do see a lot of um, women now coming to the fore. But there's been a lot of appointments yeah. since the change of government for women. But those are all gifted by men, Marlene. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time now for us to, to re-examine where we are in that gender relations. But to make the point, we started off towards independence in a very bold and progressive move when it came to gender uh, equality yeah. by naming somebody such as Dr. Deminita Gordon as our first governor general. No doubt a trailblazer. I think uh, echoing your point that the decision was made to appoint her uh, as the governor general, knowing as well that she would be the first female governor general in the British Commonwealth at that time. Of course, this is a, a very different time ago. Um, and as a young independent nation, that was one of the pivotal um, and monumental decisions made so early on. As we said, uh, there is going to be an official ceremony taking place here. As we were walking in, we saw uh, the BDF uh, preparing as well. Yes. Um, a state funeral, as you know, is accorded by the government of Belize. Uh, that decision is made by the Prime Minister and his cabinet um, as to whether or not we accord a state funeral or an official funeral. Uh, state funerals are reserved for former or sitting Governor Generals and Prime Ministers um, and for sitting members of the House. Not former members of the House, but sitting members of the House. So those are the three categories that are accorded state funerals and this is one such occasion. The protocol is taken care of by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, their protocol unit, and all of the official military decor is provided by the Belize uh, Defense Force. Uh, and now we have uh, the Bearer Party in Marlene that mm -hmm. is now about to make its way to retrieve the body from the aircraft, to first dress the body, uh, dress the coffin in the flag of Belize, and with her awards um, and thereafter there would have there would be the formal process would have begun the bearer party let me just uh, give you some of the names of the the bearer party is from
The late Dr. Dame Benita Gordon has a touchdown. We are going to be shifting gears in just a moment. Uh, what we'll do is take a very quick break. And when we come back, uh, we are going to uh, bring you live from the PGIA, uh, the ceremony as it unfolds. So we'll shift gears and we have uh, some videos and pictures lined up of the late Dame and We'll go to that now.
and welcome back. And uh, if you're just joining us, we are live at the Philip Golson International Airport. I'm Marlene Cuellar. Along with Major Lloyd Jones. And uh, we are awaiting the official uh, ceremony to start. Of course, today is the day that uh, the remains of the late Dr. Dame Manita Gordon arrives in country. She passed away in California. Um, on January 1st and uh, her, she will be laid to rest uh, given she's been accorded a state funeral um, and she will be laid to rest on Wednesday yes and the uh, the body has been received been retrieved from the aircraft and it is now uh, the coffin is now being prepared it's been draped in the Belize flag and then her awards are also to be displayed uh, after that has been completed, there shall be the, the official ceremony can commence with the official welcome by His Excellency Sir Colville Young, the Prime Minister Brisenio, Leader of the Opposition, and Senator Smith. That's right. And as we noted uh, a bit earlier, the chief mourner, a designated chief mourner, um, is, is going to be uh, participating in today's ceremony and that would be the younger sibling uh, Kelora, Miss Kelora Franklin, she is the chief mourner and her brother Robert Reyes will also uh, be here at the airport uh, to receive the body yes. and the significance of the chief mourner is um, that is the person to whom the governor general would give the flag after it has been folded at the end of the funeral uh, the chief mourner receives that flag from the governor general and that really is a focal point for the family we now have the arrival of his excellency the governor general and his aide de camp followed closely by prime minister Brisenio, the leader yeah. of the opposition patrick farmer what we're going to do is uh, try to get you a bit closer. As we had uh, mentioned earlier, the body will be received by the government uh, with the appropriate guard of honor in place. Um, as you have seen, uh, His Excellency Sir Colville Young, the Governor General of Belize, has just arrived as well as Prime Minister Honorable John Brisenio, Leader of the Opposition Honorable Patrick Faber. And we also have, uh, we see the cabinet secretary and a number of members of parliament. That's the right. Honorable Kevin Bernard, the Honorable uh, Dolores Spalda Ramos Garcia, Honorable Henry Usher. On the right, uh, in the blue gray suit, that would be chief mourner for the family's representative, uh, Miss Kalea Franklin. She is accompanied. She is accompanied by her aide-de-camp, Dr. Angel Young. Dr. Angel Young holds the rank of captain in the Belize Defense Force. And the official party has made its way at the end of the line of troops that you see. Um, and what you're looking at is uh, the forces have been um, deployed in two two ranks the first part of the line is the rifle party made up of senior non-commissioned officers of the belize defense force and further down the line are uh, with the swords is the sword party and that is made up of commissioned officers of the belize defense force and both parties are reversed on their weapons heads bowed as a sign of respect afforded to her excellency dr dame minita gordon and and now the commander has ordered a royal salute as the bearer party prepares to bring the body and the coffin passing through the honor guard 
to be greeted by His Excellency the Governor General of Belize and the Prime Minister of Belize. And the Belize Defense Force Band has just finished playing the British National Anthem and then segued into the Belize National Anthem. Now the Bearer Party is now making its way to be officially received by His Excellency the Governor General. Following one pace behind the Bearer Party is the Commander and two paces behind him is Major Alex Nolberto bearing the awards and honors of the late Dr. Deminita Gordon. They will now proceed between the honor guard who remains at the royal salute. Once again, making up the Bearer Party, Major Escalante, Captain Ciego, Captain Pierce Coleman, and Lieutenants Ashton Flowers, Clifford Avila, Demacio Cook, and they are being commanded by Major Elber Ramirez with Major Alex Nolberto bearing the honors and awards.
and the Bearer Party is slowly making its way towards the hearse. And the bearer party is now about to lower the coffin on the command of the commander of the bearer party. And now it's, the coffin has been joined by the official, the official party led by His Excellency the Governor General, along with Prime Minister Brisenio. Taking side paces to be sure that the coffin is properly aligned with the trolley. And now gently being lowered by the bear party. We've just had uh, a pair delivered, and now the bear party taking side steps, side paces to place the coffin into the hearse. And uh, they shall shortly get the command to stand still, at which point the commander will order them to feed the coffin in.
And they're now feeding the coffin into the hearse. And as each pair of officers let go of the coffin, they spring back to attention and await the orders of the commander. Once again, if you're just tuning in, we are live at the Philip Golson International Airport where the body of the late Dr. Dame Manita Gordon has been received. As we can see now, she has been placed in the hearse. There are uh, one of the interesting notes is to see the girl guides represented here. Uh, Doc, the late Dr. Gordon was um, a district commissioner of the Girl Guides and was a avid supporter of the organization, among many others as well. And the beer party has uh, fallen out and now the hearse makes its way on to Belize City, passing through an honor guard that are at the royal salute and then of course the street is also lined by members of the guides And there you saw it, uh, the arrival of the remains of the late Dr. Dame Manita Gordon. And she was received by His Excellency, Sir Colville Young, Governor General of Belize. Yes, Marlene, um, Her Excellency has been officially welcomed home in a most solemn and somber ceremony. And having received the highest award, that of a royal salute, provided by members of the Belize Defense Force. What happens after this, the body will be taken uh, to the funeral home and uh, she will rest there until tomorrow. Tomorrow her body lies in state at the House of Culture. Um, that will be preceded by the funeral procession. That's also um, a very uh, respectful and um, process that uh, you can be able to witness. It is going to be starting on Albert Street in front of the Belize Bank. Um, of course, you can always go out uh, at around that time to be able to see it for yourself, but we will be having it live for you on Channel 5 as well. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're actually going to take a quick break at this moment, and when we come back, we'll be picking up live uh, from the funeral home so we can see the arrival there. So we will be back in a few. <laughs> 